Hi, everyone. Nicole Shepner here coming to you from Wichita, Kansas, bringing you a new yoga flow on Genesis Go. Today, I'm sharing with you one of my favorite sequences of yoga poses, and I hope you'll have as much fun with it as I do. We'll get started. Find a comfortable seated position. Hands can rest palms on top of one another in the lap. They can rest on top of the knees. It's your choice. You need to settle into the breath. Observe the rhythm of the breath as you bring the air into the body. And then as you allow it to release. Notice the small sensations, the small shifts that take place with each breath in. And each breath out. One more round here. Smooth breath in, filling the chest expand. Smooth breath out. Feeling the surface of the chest release. As you're ready, sweep the arms up. Take a breath in. Look up toward the hands. Exhale to bring the hands down toward the heart. From here, take the right hand beside you. Look toward the right hand. Reach the left arm over. Reach the left shoulder away from the left hip. Look underneath the left arm. Stay here, take a full breath in. Allow the air to release completely. Bring the shoulders upright. Take a breath in, sweep both arms up, look up. Hands come down toward the heart. From here, left hand comes beside you, right arm reaches over. Looking toward the left hand in the beginning, reaching the right shoulder, the right hip away from one another, and then you can look underneath the right arm. Filling this length through the right side of the waist, take a breath in here. Stay here as you exhale. And then bring the shoulders upright, palms sweep, breathing in, looking up. Bringing the hands toward the heart on the exhale. All right, from here, let's come on to hands and knees, our tabletop position. So start warming up uh, fairly quickly to get into the different poses that we're going to do. So starting in that tabletop, shins are parallel to one another, toes point straight back. Breathe in, let your abdomen and your chest sink down toward the mat. Look forward, one round of cat cow. As you exhale, you round the back, look toward the thighs as you reach the spine up. A neutral spine from here. Curl the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. So our first down dog, we're keeping the knees pretty bent because we are still warming up. Looking back toward the shins or the thighs, breathing here. And shift forward, lower the knees to the mat. Lower yourself all the way down toward the mat and chest, the abdomen come down, chin to the mat, toes point back. Cobra pose, breathe in, elbows reach back toward the heels. Lower down on the exhale. From here, press up, hands and knees, tabletop. Bring the knees wide, big toes come together, child's pose, sitting back toward the heels with the forehead rest. Ribs soften onto the thighs, take a breath in. Allow the air to release. Lifting the hips away from the heels, coming forward, hands and knees, our tabletop position. We'll go through that again, finding your space with your hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Starting with that round of cat cow, breathing in, abdomen and chest soften toward the mat. You look forward, exhale to round the back, look toward the thighs as you reach the spine up. Finding your neutral spine, 
curling the toes, lifting the hips up and back, downward facing dog, and keeping the knees fairly bent in the beginning, lifting the sitting bones away from the heels, tops of the thighs, pull you back, arms press you back, breathe here. Nice shift forward, lower the knees to the mat. Bring yourself forward, lower yourself all the way down. Abdomen and chest release down, chin to the mat, toes point back. And bro, cobra pose, breathe in as you lengthen. Lifting to your comfort, lower down on the exhale. Press up hands and knees, tabletop. Knees come wide, big toes come together, child's pose to sit back. You can walk the hands back, forehead rest back on the mat. You can use the hand to rest the forehead if it's a bit challenging to bring it down right now. Full cycle of breath here. Smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Step forward, hands and knees, hips lift away from the heels. Last round of this warm-up sequence, hands underneath the shoulders, elbows straight, cat-cow, starting by letting your abdomen and your chest sink down toward the mat, looking forward. Exhale, round the back, look toward the thighs as you reach the spine up, keeping the neck long. Find your neutral spine, looking toward the hands so the neck is long, curl the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog, keeping the knees bent, Heel center of the ankles, hips lift high. Shift forward, lower the knees down. Come all the way down to the mat. Hands can walk forward as you lower the chest and torso down. Toes point back, hands beside you. Inhale, cobra pose. Elbows reach back, shoulders wide. Lower down on the exhale. Press up hands and knees, tabletop. Knees come wide, big toes come together, child's pose to sit back. Forehead softens onto the mat. Let's stay here for a few extra breaths. You can come into a tricep stretch from here, bringing the palms together. So you're staying in that child's pose position with the ribs resting on top of the thighs. You'll then bend the elbows so the hands either go up toward the ceiling or so they come toward the back of the neck. Think of reaching the back of the arms, the back of the elbows, away from your chest, away from the sides, the waist. The front of the throat relaxed. One more breath here. Lower the hands back down to the mat. Come forward, hands and knees. All right, from here, let's come into side plank. And this is more to start opening up to the body. We're going to do a modified version. So it won't be anything too intense, too quickly. Your right hand will be down. Make sure your index finger is pointing forward. Right knee stays down. Step your left foot back. Open your chest, your hips up toward the left side of the room. Left hand can stay on the hip here. Your left arm can reach up. So think of this more as opening up through the front of the chest, front of the shoulders, front of the hips. Take another breath here. Roll yourself back to the mat, coming back. Both hands, both knees are down. Curl your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. If it's available to you, you can begin to straighten the knees, maybe bring the heels down to the mat, or you can keep the knees bent as we were doing in the beginning until you maybe get to that point. Front of the chest releases away from the chin. Shift forward, lower the knees down toward the mat. So that modified side plank to begin. Left hand stays down this time, left knee stays down. Make sure the index finger is pointing forward, your right foot steps back, shoulders Hips turn toward the right side of the room. Right hand can stay on the hip or right arm can reach. And opening up through the front of the body. It's both sides of the neck are long. Another breath. And slowly rotate back toward the mat. Both hands and knees come down. Toes curl, hips lift up and back. Downward facing dog. Finding that comfortable space to look with the eyes. Pressing the torso back with the hands. Another breath here. Nice 
knees. All right, from here, bend the knees, walk the feet to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Bend the knees further, hands come to the shins, lengthen the spine, flat back, look about three, four feet in front of the toes. Fold forward to release, abdomen to thighs, hands can still soften onto the legs to support. Inhale to lengthen, flat back, keeping the knees bent in the beginning. From here, walk your hands all the way up the legs. Take a breath in, sweep the palms up, look up, hands come down toward the heart. All right, our sun salutations, breathe in, sweep both arms up, look up. Exhale to fold, arms sweep back as you lower down. Knees can be bent here, hands can come to the floor and the shins. Take a breath in, find your flat back, lengthening the spine, the sides of the neck. Lower down, step back, plank pose. Palms are underneath the shoulders, elbows straight. Shift forward, lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Tops of the feet, toes point back, inhale, cobra pose. Lower down the exhale. Press up hands and knees, tabletop. Toes curl, hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. Legs are working just as much as the arms. Tops of the thighs pull you back, shoulders press you back. Another breath here. Bend the knees, walk the feet to meet the hands, top of the mat. Take a breath and find your flat back, hands either on the floor or the shins. Fold forward on the exhale. Take a breath in, sweep the arms up, the shoulders roll open as you sweep the arms, breathe in. Hands come down toward the heart. Okay, two more times like this. Breathe in, arms sweep up. Exhale to fold, arms sweep back as you lower down. Take a breath in, find your flat back. Step the feet back to a plank pose. Lowering all the way down. One more time with cobra pose, and we can add on from here, taking a breath in as you find your back bend. Lower down on the exhale. Your choice, hands and knees or plank pose. Downward facing dog, hips pull you back. Palms are flat, you're pressing down through all of the knuckles. Taking another breath here. In your option, bending the knees, walk or hop the feet to meet the hands I'm walking today. Take a breath in, find your flat back, lengthen the spine. Fold forward on the exhale. Breathe in, arms sweep as you rise. You get to look up, roll the chest open, hands come down toward the heart. Last time like this, breathe in, sweep both arms up. Exhale to fold, arms reach back as you lower down. Take a breath in, your flat back. Step your feet back to plank pose. Now from here, you can lower all the way down or stop at the elbows for chaturanga. Toss the feet for cobra or upward facing dog, your choice. We'll all meet back, downward facing dog. The hips will lift, head hangs down. Breathe here. All right, keeping the hips high, reach the right leg up, three-legged dog. Step the right foot to the hands, left heel spins for warrior two. Shoulders pull back so they're centered with the hips, palms are level with the shoulders. Adjust your feet as you need to, you don't have to stay where you start. Take a breath here, make sure the knee and the toes are pointing straight forward, back leg is straight. Lower the back hand, flip the right palm to reverse, lengthen through the right side of the waist. As you pivot, back heel lifts, chest turns to find your plank. Your vinyasa to downward facing dog, plank to chaturanga or all the way flat. Toss the feet for cobra or upward facing dog, your choice. Downward facing dog, hips lift, head releases. Reset your foundation. And inhale to reach the left leg up, three-legged dog. Step the left foot to the hand, right heel spins, warrior two. Adjust as you need. Find that strength, find the length of the body. 
Lower the back hand, flip the left palm to reverse, lengthen through the left side of the waist. And turning toward the front leg, your right heel will lift as you pivot for plank pose. Move through your vinyasa, your flow. Taking the back bend that works for you today, and we'll all be back and down your facing dog. Breathe here. Feel the difference. Shift forward, lower the knees to the mat. And let's come back to those side plank variations. This time your right hand, right knee stays down. Left foot steps back. Turn your torso toward the left side of the room. Left hand can reach straight up or sweep all the way over. Reaching the left shoulder away from the hip. Finding a comfortable, comfortable space to look, either toward that bottom hand, the wall, or underneath the arm. So they rotate back, so both hands, both knees are on the mat. Toes curl, hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. Shift forward, lower both knees down. That modified side plank on the other side, left hand, left knee are down, right foot steps back, chest and hips turn toward the right side of the room, your right arm can reach straight up, or you can sweep all the way over to get that side body stretch. Think of reaching the right shoulder away from the right hip, either looking toward the base hand, toward the wall in front of you, or underneath the arm. Long through the right side, Slowly pivot, so both hands, both knees are on the mat. Curl the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a moment, take a breath here. And this time we're going backwards, bending the knees, walk your hands back toward your feet. Take a breath in, find your flat back. Fold forward on the exhale. Breathe in, sweep both arms up, look up. Hands come down toward the heart. All right, feel free to grab a drink here in between or coming into tree pose. Getting a little bit of balance work into our yoga practice. It's all balanced, but this one's more intense because it's only on one leg. You'll keep your left leg down. From here, bend your right knee, turn it out at an angle. So the knee is more going toward the corner of the room rather than all the way over to the side wall. Uh, keeping it at this angle will help keep you more centered. Your option, either bringing the right heel to the ankle or the shin of your base leg, or finding that space where you're able to balance, just not putting pressure on the knee. From here, hands can come in front of you for tree pose. Find something that's not moving in front of you. Find that gentle wobbling because it's going to happen. If you're feeling steady, both arms can reach, being patient with yourself. Slowly bring things back to center. Lower the right leg down, breathe in, sweep both arms up. Nice. Hands come down toward the heart. All right, let's do the other side. Your right leg will stay down. Left knee turns out, so it's at a little bit of an angle, not all the way over to the side wall. Finding the space here, either the heel, maybe the whole foot to the shin, Maybe bringing it to the inner thigh. And this side may be completely different from the previous side, that's okay. Palms can come in front of you. Again, finding that gentle wobbling, because it's going to happen, just being patient with it. Maybe the hands stay in front of you, or both arms reach smooth, steady. everything back to center. Lower the left foot down. Take a breath in here. Sweep both arms up. 
hands come down toward the heart to release. All right, let's come back to that warrior two pose, and we're going to move that into triangle with a little bit of an arm uh, wrap or arm bind. Your right foot will be forward, left foot steps back. Start with your hands on the hips. Find that foundational stance with the warrior two position. Right heel lines up with the arch of the back foot. Knee and toes are pointing forward, arms will reach out, level with the shoulders. So now from here, you'll turn your left palm toward the wall behind you. Bend your left elbow so the back of the hand comes to your low back. Maybe you're able to bring it around and find the top of the hip. And if you're here, that's okay. We're just trying to avoid any pinching in the shoulder joint, any discomfort in the shoulder and the elbow. Now your right hand will lower down top of the thigh or top of the shin, pressing through your front foot, straighten the front leg for triangle pose, shoulders turn toward the left side of the room, hand can stay on the shin, or maybe you're able to find the floor with the fingertips. Feeling length through both sides of the waist. Strong in the legs, they're holding you up here. Trusting the balance, one more breath. All right, so the core is doing the work here. The legs are holding you up. You can keep that bind with the left hand. Bend your right knee, sweep your right arm back to reverse your warrior. Unwind the arms, warrior two, back to where we started. And then hands come to the hips. Turn both feet toward the wall in front of you and then heel toe things in. Step to the top of the mat. Take a breath here, sweep both arms up, look up. Hands come down toward the heart. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. Left foot steps forward, right foot steps back. So maybe on this side, it looks differently from the previous side, that's okay. There's going to be, there are going to be different muscles that are tight from one side to the other. We're just being patient and allowing this to unfold as it will. Your left foot is forward, right foot is back, toes a little bit of an angle, back leg is straight. Palms come out so they're level with the shoulders. Finding that foundational position. And then for the bind, your right palm will turn toward the wall behind you. Elbow bends, the hand either comes to the low back, maybe the top of the hip. For me, the shoulder's a bit more tight, so for me to get to the top of my hip's a little bit of a challenge today, so I'm going to stay here. And for triangle pose, left hand will come to the top of the thigh or the front of the shin. Looking toward the front foot, so the next phase long, pressing into that foot to straighten the front leg. Your shoulders then turn toward the right side of the room. Maybe you're able to find the bind at this point. Maybe the left fingertips can come down toward the mat. And breathe here. The legs are holding you up. Trusting your balance, trusting your strength. So the core will bring you up from here. You can keep the bind with your right hand or you can unwind just whatever feels best for you. Bend your left knee, shoulders pull back, left palm flips to reverse your warrior. Unwind the arms, warrior two, back to where we started. Breathe here. And then hands come to the hips. Turn both feet toward the wall in front of you, heel toe things in. Step to the top of the mat. Breathe in, sweep both arms up, look up. Exhale to fold, arms sweep back as you lower down. Take a breath in, find your flat back. Step the feet back to move through your vinyasa. You can also go straight back down dog. Plank to chaturanga all the way down to the mat. Tops of the feet for cobra or upward facing dog, your back bend. And we'll all meet back in downward facing dog. 
and reset. Take a moment, take a breath. Inhale, the right leg reaches up, three-legged dog. Step the right foot to the hands, left knee lowers, reach to a low lunge. Sweep the arms up, shoulders on top of the hips, opening up through the left hip. All right, so here's where we get to come back to that side plank. Hands can lower down, so you can watch me and then come into it with me. Your right hand will come to you to the thigh of the hip, left fingertips come down. Your right foot stepping back to that modified side plank that we started with. Right foot will step back. Right arm sweeps over. The right knee will bend to bring you back to where you started. The knee comes toward the chest, coming back to that low lunge. Both arms sweep. Both hands will lower. Step back, plank pose. Hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. Left side is turned in, now left leg reaches, three-legged dog. Left foot steps to the hands, right knee lowers, low lunge. Take your time, set the feet, arms sweep as you're ready. Finding space through the sides of the waist. Steady in the body. Coming to the modified side plank, hands come down. And you can watch if you need to come into it with me. Right hand lowers, front foot will step back. So left foot steps back in line with the right knee. Side plank, breathe here. To come out of this position, left knee comes toward the chest. You're coming back to that low lunge. Shoulders lift, arms sweep. Lower the hands down. Step back, downward facing dog. Shift forward, lower the knees down to the mat. Bring the knees wide, big toes come together, child's pose to shift back. back, downward facing dog. Notice the changes, small shifts that have taken place. Bending the knees, your choice, walk or hop, feet to meet the hands. Take a breath in, find your flat back. Fold forward on the exhale. Breathe in, arms sweep as you rise. Hands come down toward the arm. All right, stretch into the hamstrings from here. So this, we'll start with the right foot forward for pyramid pose. Left foot steps back. Now, if it's um, a little in, ambitious to think of coming all the way down to the floor, this is where you can just step forward and use the wall to put your hands on. That way you can get that stretch in the hamstrings. Find what works for you today. So let your body be with whatever's coming about right now. Your right foot is forward, left foot is back. The legs are not as far apart as in our previous poses. And again, shoulders, chest is facing the uh, front of your mat. From here, start with your hands on the hips. You're hinging from the front of the hips to fold over the right leg. Hands can go down to the mat. And you have the option of just sliding forward using the wall in front of you if you need some extra assistance. Feeling the stretch through the back of the legs. Keeping the sides and the neck long. Both legs are pressing down equally. Option here 
of keeping the fingertips on the mat or on the wall, or we can uh, come into reverse namaste or a fist bump behind the back. So you can start to test this out by just bringing the hands to the hips and seeing how this feels in the back. If your back's not very happy with this, then you come back down uh, to our starting position. We'll meet back later. Or taking the hands behind so the back of the hands rest on the spine. This bump together. Maybe reverse namaste if that's there for you. Breathing. Long and strong. Whichever hold you're utilizing, release that. Hold all the way over the front of the right thigh. Let the spine release. You may look back toward the back leg. Abdomen softens onto the right thigh. Come out of this position, lengthen the spine, a little bit of a bend in your right knee. Hands come to the hips, shoulders pull back to bring you up right. Step the feet together. And take a breath, sweep the arms up, look up, find a back bend. Hands come down to the heart. All right, let's do the other side. Left foot is forward, right foot is back. So again, you may find that this side feels a little bit differently than the previous side, that's okay. And being with it, experiencing whatever it might be at the moment. Toes point forward on your left leg, hips and shoulders are facing the front of the mat. Holding at the front of the hips to lower over the left thigh. And hands come down to the mat. They come to the wall in front of you if you're needing that extra assistance today. Pause to observe. Pressing down evenly through both feet. Finding length in both sides of the waist. So if it doesn't feel nice on this side, of course you can skip on this one. You can test out the uh, added option for a pyramid pose by bringing the hands to the hips and see how this feels for you. If you decide you want to take it further, back of the hands pressed across the spine, fist bumps or knuckles touch. Maybe reverse namaste if that's happening for you today. If not, that's all right. It's your practice. Finding the strength, the length in the body. Whichever version you're taking, releasing the arms, folding over the top of the left thigh. Looking back toward the back legs, the neck can release. And the abdomen soften onto the leg. Come out of this position, a little bend to the left knee, hands come to the hips, shoulders pull you upright, and step the feet together. Take a breath here, sweep both arms up, look up, fold forward on the exhale, arms sweep back as you lower down. Take a breath in, find your flat back, step the feet back, your final vinyasa, plank, Chaturanga all the way down, tops of the feet for your back bend of choice. We'll meet back down with the facing dog. Take three breaths here. Just feeling the change, the shift. Slowly lowering the knees down toward the mat. Come into a seated position. Legs will reach forward. So the feet don't have to be touching for your forward fold. The feet can be a little bit further apart. Sometimes that's better for people. Knees can also be bent if the hamstring still needs some extra 
um, assistance. From here, breathe in, sweep the arms up. Fold forward on the exhale, hinging from the hips, letting the shoulders, the elbows soften, and finding a comfortable space to look with the eyes. Finding this length through the back, through the backs of the legs. Shoulders on top of the hips. We're going to take the right leg, bring it across. If you feel like you're rolling back from here, you can press into the right hand, press into the press into the left foot, press into the hands to bring the spine more tall. Left hand will stay behind you, rotate toward the inside of the left knee. Either looking toward the wall in front of you or looking over the back shoulder. Reaching the right shoulder toward the top of the mat. Unwind. Bring yourself back to center. Both legs will reach forward. This time your right leg crosses. You know, you feel like you're rolling backwards here. Press into the sole of the right foot. Use the hands to bring yourself more upright. Left arm will come across, turning toward the inside of the right knee, either looking toward the wall in front of you or looking over the back shoulder. Even rotation through both sides of the waist. Left shoulder reaches toward the top of the mat or toward the straight leg is another way to think of it. yourself back to center. Reach both legs forward. Take a breath in. Sweep both arms up. Fold forward on the exhale. Feel how the back is able to expand as you breathe in. Feel how the chest softens down as you exhale. And bring the shoulders up right. One more stretch before we come on to the back. We'll cross the legs in front of you. The knees don't have to press down toward the mat. Uh, find the cross and the position with the ankles and the knees that feels most comfortable for your joints. Arms will walk forward. If it's hard to bring the hands up far in front of you, you can also bring the hands up to the sides of the mat and use that to support as you lean over the tops of the thighs. Find what works for you. Feeling the stretch through the hips, through the low back. Two knots in toward the chest and the back of the neck can lengthen. Outside of the thighs, soften down toward the ground. So you walk your shoulders upright. You unwind the legs. We'll come on to the back from here. Once we come back into our Shavasana, um, and it's time to begin bringing your attention back. I'll ring the chimes so you know you can start moving. We should be able to relax and let the eyes close for these few minutes that we have. Once you're on your back, the shoulders rest, the back of the head softens onto the mat. Go ahead and bring both knees in toward the chest. The surface of the ribs soften into the body. Keep the knees bent, lower both feet down onto the mat. Bring the arms wide so the palms are down, hands are shoulder height. 
Twisting here, you'll press into the feet, slide onto the outside of the right hip, and bring both knees over toward the right side. The knees stack. Torso turns toward the ceiling. Either looking in the direction of the ceiling or turning the head to look over the opposite shoulder, your choice. Chin and chest soften away from one another. One more cycle of breath here. Unwind, bring the knees back to center. Recenter yourself with the mat. And we'll twist toward the left, shift onto the outside of the left hip. Both knees come over toward the left side. Knees stack on top of one another. Shoulders and torso toward the ceiling. Looking in the direction of the ceiling or over the right shoulder, your option. Find a breathing to be smooth and steady. One more cycle here. Body back to center, recenter yourself with the mat. Hug both knees in toward the chest. Reach the legs long, arms reach overhead, full body stretch. And then your final shavasana, the last frozen class. Letting the feet roll out to the sides. Arms come out beside you, palms turn up, soft bend to the elbows. Eyes move in the direction of the ceiling and the eyelids softly close. When it's time to come out of this position, you'll hear the chimes ring. You just have a few minutes here. Trusting yourself in this moment. Giving yourself these few minutes to absorb this feeling. You can imagine that the body is like a sponge absorbing in the air, bringing it into the torso, into the hips, without any effort on your part. Filling the body up with air. And as you exhale, it overflows and releases into the ground. Blood into the body without effort, without pushing. And as you exhale, it overflows to release, washing over the sides of the body and into the ground beneath you.
to bring small motion to the hands and the feet, and gently wiping the body up. Then both knees roll over to the right sides and the right shoulder, right hip pressed on the mat. And use the palms to press the shoulders away from the ground, bringing yourself upright, comfortable seated position. to close down here for just another second. Notice these changes that you've achieved in the mind and the body. These small shifts that have taken place simply by you investing the time, investing the care and the trust in yourself. Then feel the chest expand and lift. Allow the air to release the chin knots down the exhale. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your practice. Namaste. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Um, appreciate you being here and having a little bit of yoga flow with me, Genesis. Uh, you can find more classes on our Facebook page or on our Genesis Go YouTube channel. We'll be uploading videos constantly. And you'll find more yoga videos or any type of workout, really, that you want to do during this time. So, Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your practice. We'll see you soon.